Hi, today I'm going to do some uh, sound design and give you an example of how to use the LFO and effect to get some interesting sounds. Um, this will be a dubstep type wobble bass and um, although there is some presets that's quite similar in the unit this gives a good example of how to use the effects in LFO. So the first thing I'm going to do is to select um, a preset from the FM synth range and I'm just going to select the um, standard wonky organ uh, from the presets. This gives us a good starting point. At this point in time I'm not really going to change uh, too many of the parameters, I will just increase the blue control just to give a little bit more drive and dirt on the sound. Secondly, um, I'm going to open up the um, effects uh, browser and select the punch effect. Uh, the reason why I want the punch effect is that I want to uh, use the frequency um, cutoff to uh, to create the wobble. So I'm just going to move all the parameters down for now, power, rounds, etc. And I'm just going to move frequency to the uh, middle position. Then if we move on to the LFO by pressing Shift 4, um, I'm going to select the value um, LFO. This is quite simple, it just it just quite takes one value uh, and modulates one uh, parameter. So what I'm going to change is, firstly I'm going to change the destination. Currently that's set to uh, synthesizer. I'm going to set the destination using the white control to the effect, uh, showing by effects. And then the destination for uh, the parameter actually is currently set to the blue parameter uh, and I'm going to keep it at the blue parameter because the blue parameter in that effect actually reflects the frequency and as you can see now um, the LFO is affecting the frequency um, of the effect. Still can't hear anything much different at this point in time so what I'm going to do now is firstly I'm going to adjust the amount up to about 45% um, I'm going to set the speed uh, which is affixed to the tempo uh, as it's a number. If you see the dial then that's um, free um, setting. So currently I'm just going to set it to 8 uh, just for now. Move back to the um, the effect and you can see now the frequency uh, is quite um, dynamic. I'm going to increase the punch to about 60% and I'm going to increase the rounds to about 24 which is maximum and then increasing the power up to maximum you can hear that wobble start so now if we move back to the LFO and start to affect the um, the speed uh, that gives it more of a creative sound One final thing, if we reduce the octaves on the keyboard by um, a couple of presses on the down key, um, it does give quite a neat classic dubstep style wobble.